everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel Fab5. Today in this session we are going to solve this worksheet which belongs to the FF International English Olympiad for the 2023 and 2024 series. This is for class 3 as you can see in front of us and this is the set B paper of this uh, question paper. But before going to that I would like to remind our viewers that if you are a first time subscriber, if you are a first time viewer of our YouTube channel, please uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's a request. It motivates us to you know, develop these kind of sessions and publish them on our YouTube channel. And also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss out with the latest updates. Having said so, let us first quickly jump to the first question of today's session. So word and structure knowledge for questions 1 to 7. Choose the correct option to fill in the blank. Question number one. Two dash shall I pass this message? Options are A who, B uh, whom, C whose and D how. Correct answer is B whom. Question number two. After swimming six dash in the swimming pool, mean, Mita was exhausted. Options are A turn, B round, C laps and D lays. Correct answer is C laps. Question number 3. My sister did all the work by dash. Options are A itself, B herself, C himself and D themselves. Correct answer is B herself. Question number 4. Sound dash slower than light. Options are A travel, B traveled, C traveling, C and D travels. Correct answer is D travels. Question number 5. Each of the student dash to tidy the classroom. Options are A helping, B helps, C help. And D eased help. Correct answer is C help. Question number six. The renovation work will be dash by next month. Options are A at B off C over and D for. Correct answer is C over. Question number seven. We are sad dash our pet has gone missing. Options are A so B because C still and D yet. Correct answer is B because. For question 8 and 9, choose the correct option for the underlined word. Question number 8. Where were you yesterday morning? Underlined word is yesterday. And the options are on the next page. So the options are A noun, B adverb, C adjective and D adverb. Correct answer is D adverb. Question number 9. Our instructor explained in detail. Underlined word is instructor. Options are A noun. B adjective, C conjunction, D verb, correct answer is A noun. For question 10 and 11, choose the part of the sentence that has an error. Question number 10, Serena had be, Serena had be looking forward to the vacation. Options are A, Serena had be looking C forward to and D the vacation, correct answer is B, B looking. For question number 11, Sia looked on the menu and decided to eat pizza. Options are A. Sia looked on B. The menu C. And decided and D. To eat pizza. Correct answer is A. Sia looked on. For question 12 and 13, choose the option with correct spelling. Question number 12, choose the correct spelling of the word which means a soft covering of chairs and or seats. Okay. So, option A. A P P H O L S. T R E Y B U P H O L F T E R Y C U P H O L E F T O R Y and D U double P H O double F A F T E R Y. Correct spelling is upholstery. The word is upholstery. Correct spelling is in B U P H O L F T E R Y. So B is the right answer. Now question number thirteen. Choose the correct spelling of the word which means strange. Options are A, P E C U L I A R, peculiar, B, P I C O O L I A R, C, P E C U E L I E R, and D, P E C U I L A R. Correct spelling of the word peculiar is A, P E C U L I A R. Question number 14. Question number 14. Choose the synonym of ridiculous. Options are A, sensible. B logical, C silly, and D possible. Correct answer is C silly. Question number 15. Choose the antonym of brief. Options are A sharp, B little, C short, and D lengthy. Correct answer is D lengthy. 
Now reading section. For question 16 to 20, read the passage and answer the question that follows. So this is a long passage. We are not going to be, you know, reading through the entire passage. We have already, as you can see, marked the portion of the passage from which the questions can be answered. The question follows after this. We will look into the question and we will show you the passage part from where this can be answered or the portion of the passage from where we have derived the answer. So let us look, look at the question number 16. Question number 16. How does the hawk catches its prey? Or his Options are A. The hawk blends in with the surrounding and then attacks his prey. B. The hawk spots his prey from the hilltop and then flies down to pounce upon it. C. The hawk catches the prey in his beak and then flies upward in the sky. D. The hawk watches his prey from the tree and then suddenly catches upon it. Correct answer is actually B. The hawk spots his prey from the hilltop and then flies down to pounce upon it. We will mark this and we will show you the portion of the passage from where we have found this answer. So as you can see from here, the hawk gifted with eyes that could see long distances would spot his prey from the hilltop and then fly down to pounce upon it. That is the answer passage. Question number 17. What happened to the crow when he tried to imitate the hawk? Options are A. He succeeded in catching the prey. B. He fell, up, he fell from the tree and hurt his head. C. He was beaten up by the hawk. And D. He crashed himself against the hill. Correct answer is D. He crashed himself against the hill. So, but the mouse saw the crow and moved away. The crow, the crow crashed against the hill. E cried the crow in pain. So that is where from which we got this answer. Question number 18. Who said the given statement and to whom? It is not easy to hunt and it is not easy to imitate either. Options are A. The hawk to the crow. B. The crow to the mouse. C. The rabbit to the hawk. And D. The crow to the hawk. Correct answer is A. The hawk to the crow. Let us look at the passage from where this is taken. Now. Just then the hawk came flying. I hope now you know it is not easy to hunt and it is not easy to imitate either said the hawk and flew away. So that is the portion from where we got this answer. Question number 19. What lesson did the crow learn at the end of the story? Options are A. One should be jealous of others. B. One should treat others with disrespect. C. One should appreciate the God given abilities. And D. One should be proud of oneself. Oneself. Correct answer is C. One should appreciate the God given abilities. Now we will look into the passage. So this is the uh, person. Thereafter the crow never imitated anyone in his life. He lived happily with the God given abilities. Question number 20. In the passage the word Persh means dash. A. To eat on. B. To move on. C. To hunt on. And D. To sit on. Correct answer is to sit on that is option D and we will see the passage where this word is. So as you can see at the foot of the hill there was a banyan tree on which a crow used to perch every day. So this is the word which meaning we already marked. For question 21 to 25 read the passage and answer the question that follows. So here is another uh, passage and that's a long passage as well. So we have marked the portion underlined portions where from which we got the answers the questions are on the next page and the options are also there so let us quickly look at those questions so question number 21 which of the following whale species is a type of a baleen whale options are a the beluga whale b the humpback whale c the pilot whale and d the sperm whale correct answer is b the humpback whale let us look at the portion of the passage now so as you can see there are about 10 species of baleen whale. These include the blue whale, the grey whale, the fin whale and the humpback whale. So that is the answer. Question number 22. According to the passage, the blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived. It is about dash long. Options are A 100 meter, B 18 meters, C 60 meter and D 30 meters. Correct answer is D 30 meters. So as you can see, the blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived. It may be more than 100 feet. That is 30 meters long. Question number 23. Why do whales go to the surface of the ocean? Options are A. To search for its food. B. To play with our whales. 
C to breathe and D to escape from sharks. Correct answer is C to breathe. So as you can see, whales go to the surface of the water to breathe. That is the answer. Now question number 24. Which body part of the whale helps it take in air? Options are A smooth skin, B blubber, C blow holes and D whale bone. Correct answer is C blow holes. A whale takes in air through one or two openings called blow holes on the top of the head. So question number 25. The, in the passage the word transmit means dash. A communicate, B translate, C meditate and D hesitate. Correct answer is A communicate. So, whales make many sounds including whistles, barks and screams to transmit to other whales. Some types of whales may live for 100 years or long. So, that is the transmit which means communication with other whales. Spoken and written expression. For question 26 to 30, choose the most suitable option to complete each conversation. Question number 26. Rati says, did you watch, the latest, did you watch this latest movie? Jatin says no, dash go together. Options are A let, B let's, C let's and D letting. Correct answer is C let's. Question number 27. Teacher says dash do you want to be when you grow up? Student says I want to be a doctor. Options are A how, B whom, C why and D what. Correct answer is D what. Question number 28. Mother dash says uh, dash you finish your homework, you can't watch TV. Options are A, des despite, uh, B, yet, C, unless, and D, because, correct answer is C, unless. Question number 29, Jay uh, yes, Jayati says, hi, how are you? Suman says, great, thanks for dash. Options are A, ask, B, ask, C, asking, and D, asks. Correct answer is C, asking. Question number 30, Saya says, mom, I need to dash some water. Mother says, okay, let me help you. Options are A, boils, B, boils, C, boiling and D, boiled. Correct answer is B, boil. Question number 31 from the Achiever section. For questions 31 and 32, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. Question number 31, Rachit, Rachit gulped down his food hurriedly as he was dashed. Options are A, replenished, B, implied, C, famished and D, brandished. Correct answer is C, famished. Question number 32. There was total darkness as the train went dash the tunnel. Options are A at, B with, C through, D under. Correct answer is C through. Question number 33. Choose the part of the sentence that has an error. We were exhausted after playing football since 2 hours. Options are A. We were B exhausted after C playing football and D since 2 hours. Correct answer is since 2 hours. Question number 34. Choose the synonym of magnificent. Options are A. Ordinary, B. Glorious, C. Sufficient and D. Gloomy. Correct answer is B. Glorious. Question 35. The, choose the correct option to complete the conversation. Teacher says Rama puts her dash in every task. Mother says I am so proud of her. Options are A. Tooth and nail, B. Heart and soul, C. Hand and mouth and D. Brain and soul. Correct answer is B. Heart and soul. And with that, we complete this 35 question of this IEO paper. We will shortly publish it in our YouTube channel. Please visit the channel if you are preparing for this exam in the, for the next sets on the upcoming days. I hope this paper is helpful. Maybe some of the questions are also coming. Maybe they are common from this paper. So you will be lucky to have those. So best of luck. We will closely, we will shortly publish this. Uh, we will close this session. And we will meet again with another interesting video. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.